Okay, so it's been a little while since we've been working on the generator. Uh, Christmas is coming up and a lot of things going on just to get ready. Decorations and getting the house ready and a lot of other things with life just generally getting in the way. But we're back here to work on this a little bit more. Um, the thing I'm going to tackle today is this, uh, this wiring relay. It's the relay for the fuel pump. Um, this relay that's on the generator works, but it's not the... Uh, it's not the one from Onan. It doesn't have the the tab, so I can detach or so I can attach it to the back of the air horn. So luckily, I have another Onan here that I'm going to uh, take apart, so I can look at how the wiring goes, and then uh, replicate that on the the 7,000 uh, watt generator here. So let me get set up, and then we'll start uh, tearing into this and getting and getting the wires where they need to go, and also we'll. We'll get uh, just get the wires run back underneath the generator, not running over the top like that. Just try and get things cleaned up and look like they're supposed to. So uh, let's uh, we'll get going on that. Okay, so here we are on the the Onan 4K. We're just gonna I'm just uncovering these wires so I can see how they are wired, and then we'll put them all back together. Put all these covers back on. Stop. And bolts fall around. So I'm really looking for the coding that they have on these, the codes, the and see what is used. Looks like I'll, I would imagine this. there's one post in here that's not used, and I imagine it is for the fuel. Um, there is supposed to be a fuel solenoid valve over here that on the 7000 that's not there, not installed. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We're not going to install that one right now. Uh, anyway, so let me get some notes taken off here, and then we'll... We'll move on to re reinstalling or correcting the wires on the other side. Okay, here's my new relay I got. Um, looks exactly like the one that was on the Onan uh, 4000, the Emerald uh, Plus 4000. Um, all the connections are the same. Going through the process, I figured out that these wires have a numbering system on them. You can see that it says 86. And 86 will go to the number 86 terminal on the relay. So it's going to be really straightforward uh, just removing this one and uh, connecting it to the to the replacement relay so I can connect it back to the air horn. Um, so I'm going to get uh, started with this. I've got some, some waterproof um, connections I'm going to use instead of these type terminals. Um, so we're gonna it should go in there you know really quickly and uh, allow me to move on with the next thing you know on the engine earlier I I, I had none of these uh, none of these are, are attached yet we're gonna go and put them back on here later uh, but I did remove the flywheel I was able to I was able to get this uh, I was able to get that uh, base plate off once you remove the flywheel you can take you know this this uh, just shroud baffle off. Um, then it's fairly straightforward getting to those to that bolt and the one that's underneath. The one that's underneath you just need to use a uh, ratchet wrench, the wrench with the ratchets built in. Took it off, cleaned it up, put a new gasket on, put the gasket back in there, torqued it back down, and uh, you know cleaned up the oil pressure sending unit, put it back on, put a new filter on this, and then. Uh, there's no oil in the engine yet, but the filters on and ready for the next, you know, ready for the next step. Anyway, so the next step is we're gonna we're gonna finish this relay, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna install this relay. We're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna put the in manifolds, intake manifolds, back on. Put the carburetor back on. Um, this regulator somebody had rebuilt, but whatever they used for the sealant is just oozing out of it. So. I've got a new regulator. I'm gonna go through the process of making sure the wiring is correct, and then we will um, 
clean the slip rings and then we'll install the new the new regulator if everything's working properly um, and then I need to come up with some sort of wiring outlet or out panel for my uh, you know for the wiring down here probably just gonna go to Home Depot buy a little a, you know really small distribution panel with one you know make one uh, 30 amp 220 plug and then two uh then maybe a couple of 110 plugs you know uh, one for each leg if i want to go 110 versus 220. so let me get a reset here and we'll start working on this uh this relay okay so i just cut the uh the this non onan relay off and we're going to start putting on the the new end i'm just going to Put some wire on there with some excess excess length to it, and then we'll cut them off as we, you know, as it looks like it's necessary. Cut some old wire here that I'm just gonna, as the saying goes, repurpose. Obviously, I only have two colors, unfortunately, but you use what you got, just like the guy before me did. on down the road as the saying goes so anyways we're gonna put this on here it's a little, he little heavier wire than probably what was on it but at least it won't be undersized for what we're trying to do here so Six. The stripper. I know this is probably going to wash out some of the color, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. Those look really nice. I'm impressed. I think they're nice, nice little collect connectors there. Hmm. Now for the tricky part, getting them back under the generator. Well, after further investigation, it turns out these wires are supposed to run over the top. And they come out here, right there, and they run around this way on this generator. Somebody had just run them over this way and had taken the cover off of them on the on this generator. So we've got a protective coating by or covering back on them. We're gonna run them around this way just to get them off the top of the unit. Uh, I did find that this ground when I clean took it off was really uh, corroded so I got the the sanding little Dremel sander out cleaned it back up and then we're gonna get the uh, get the wires rerun and the grounds reconnected and uh, the wires reconnected and you know then we can put the carburetor and the intake and exhaust manifolds back on and we got to finish wiring the fuel pump and clean everything up and then we'll be ready to run it so Stay tuned, let me get this reset. Okay, <clears throat> so that's all cleaned up. Those are cleaned up. I got some new lock washers. Cleaned up the surface of the generator right there. Got some new lock washers. I'm gonna put this all back together. All right, <clears throat> so there it is all put back together. This uh, negative lead here, the ground lead is gonna be for the 
the fuel pump when I get it put back together we'll have to have that here's the the positive lead for the <clears throat> for the fuel pump so that looks better so you need to get this you can take this one and get it sort of put down in there where I want it to go we'll go over here and finish doing the relay and see if I can get these wires sort of locked into a place I'm gonna get reset here just give me a second all right so we're gonna start putting the ends on these and we will uh, see if there's anything we need to do as far as do we have excess, we need to cut some more stuff off, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that one out here in just a minute. Okay, so we got the wires done, uh, re prepared, repaired, removed, replaced, whatever you call them. We got this little area cleaned up. Uh, it's <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put the the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold back in place and then we can put the carburetor back in place and just keep moving along with uh, what we're working on here so I'm gonna take a couple minutes get my tools cleaned up and then reset for putting those pieces back on <clears throat> 